Hi YouTube, it's Eli, and this is a bit of a late one, so we gotta wrap this one up quick. Uh, gotta be honest, I didn't really know what to do for Disgusting Food Week. I uh, I think I found something good though. Just it's 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 a bit of a there's a bit of a lot in this topic, so I might be talking fast because I need to get this one a bit condensed for time reasons. Anyways, there's this chemical that is used to make things like jelly beans, hence the title of the video, look shiny. And it's just like, jelly beans on their own, you know, like that's fine. They're fine. I've already talked about artificial sugars and all that stuff, but it's really, they, they're, they're really gross because of this uh, substance that it's like, it's used to make them all like hard and shiny and you know, like what we know today. It, it also has the same effect on candy corn, actually. It used the same substance and um, it comes from insect residue. It's really, it's really weirdly gross. I mean, why do, why, why, why do they even need this? Why does this even need to happen? Like, why do they, need to be like this shiny thing like you get why it needs to happen now because you know that's just what we know them to look like and if it was already some reveal to everyone that it was actually this gross thing used to make them look shiny then uh, you know uh, that, that would just be terrible for all jelly bean kind but it's just like wh why did they need to do it at first was there some reason? I mean, it's just insect residue. How does this even happen? I mean, they must do trial after trial getting the right substance, and I guess this is the one that they just found out, but it's so gross that that's what you're eating every single time you put one jelly bean. I mean, imagine how much, you know, stuff they would need all coming out from insects and they need to like coat it over like that many jelly beans like yeesh I don't like thinking about all that substance coming out from insects and then being put on jelly beans and candy corn and other stuff by the way you know these foods that are presented in commercials often are you know it's pretty obvious like it's kind of a running joke now that uh you know the food that they advertise isn't actually what the food looks like it's often because sometimes the stuff that they show isn't even you know food it's like uh for cereal a lot of the time they'll use glue instead of milk so that it looks like perfect and so the milk looks perfect and then the cereal doesn't get soggy but my point is is that why couldn't they just use this insect residue in the commercials why do they have to do that in the product that we eat like it's just kind of messed up it's kind of gross but man there are so many odd things that people do to get these little bite-sized candies to perfection and uh i'll see you tomorrow